Now, Shiver Me Timber is clear a nightly cut quite a dash last night at the premiere of the Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest in London. Michael Underwood was there too. Uh, good morning to you. She's in all the papers today because of a, a frock that was slightly on the skimpy side. It was an amazing dress, I have to say. I mean, as a man watching Keira Knightley walking down the red carpet dressed in that, I mean, it was like the tape. Now, I, I don't much about this, but it's tape that holds things in the right places, I hear. And she had plenty of that. And she just looked absolutely stunning. You can see there, the paparazzi were going wild. So it got exactly the attention it was meant to, I'm sure. She, I was going to say, I think she's a bit thin as well. I'm glad you said that, John. Well, just cut to the chase, John. Yeah, yes. I, de I definitely think that, um, I mean, from Bend It Like Beckham days, she's obviously lost a little bit of weight. Um, I guess, I don't know, maybe that's just the pressures of Hollywood nowadays. But, um, yeah, she did look quite... Quite slim, I thought, last night. Yeah, what did she have to say for herself? Well, here's the thing. Uh, second film, second part of the Caribbean film, lots more action for her character this time, and uh, she really revelled it. Although, occasionally, there may have been some moments where it could have gone a bit wrong. Here's what she said. We were throwing quite a few swords to each other, but actually, no, there were no accidents. We had an amazing stunt team. They were absolutely extraordinary, so um, we were very lucky. But doing it in 35-degree heat with very large bugs was, was quite an experience. I think there was uh, one comment in one of the papers that she she insisted on redoing lots of kissing scenes with Johnny Depp and all that. <laughs> Whether that's true or not, I have no idea. But of course, you would, wouldn't you? I guess so. She seemed quite. I did actually ask her about that as well. It was really funny. I was sort of saying to her, you know, oh come on, Kira, you must have had a word. You wanted more action. You must have wanted to kiss them both. But she was like, no, no, no. Oh, really? She, maybe oh, Johnny she asked, but she said, <laughs> who knows? Oh, the lovely, lovely, lovely Johnny Depp. Tell us about him. Well, do you know what? It's great that since the first part. We just have film, a look at him just for a minute. Go on. Do you want to have a look? Yeah, we'll just run out. <laughs> On a loop, I think. Well, no, before I do, let me tell you a bit about it, because obviously he was there. Um, his character, he based loosely on uh, Keith Richards, the Rolling Stone guitarist, mm. of course. Now, rumour is, for the third film, which is being film shot at the moment, Keith's going to come and play his dad in it. So this is a great thing if it comes about. And so I wanted to ask him, you know, how he felt about it. Here's what he said. Well, I'm very excited, you know, at the possibility. Um, but, you know, you, you don't know what's going to happen until it happens. So, but I'm, I'm, I'm super excited. A bit cagey. Yeah, I think he's American. <laughs> <laughs> he's got his, uh, his trademark trilby there. He's been wearing that all the premieres for this film. But uh, yeah, he seemed very excited about it. So watch this space. Hopefully, it will come about because it'd yeah. be amazing. Bill Nye, of course, another uh, another Brit there. That's right. Now Bill plays Davy Jones, who's the main villain in the film this time round. A fantastic squid-headed villain. And uh, I had a chat with Bill because he's played loads of characters. He's like the hardest working man in film at the moment. Played lots of uh, weird and wonderful people. Uh, he starts to list them for me, and I think you'll see what I mean. I played a zombie, I played a, pirate, uh, a vampire, I played a stoned out rabbit who sang You Really Got Me By The Kinks. I've recently played an albino ex-lab rat with brain damage due to overexposure to hallucinogenic drugs. But I think a squid come crab, well you've got to hand it to it. <laughs> I think he, he's put, it, put his nail on the head there. Hit his nail on the head. <laughs> or yeah. something like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Taking the ears off the squid. That's the think. one. Something like that. Yeah, thank you very much, Mike. Good film? Uh, yeah, I think you'll enjoy it. If you enjoyed the first one, I think you'll definitely enjoy this one. A little bit longer and more action. Excellent.